we had fun. Now, I don't know how he did it. He snuck down here, but the Schickster managed to hitch a ride with us without us knowing. And we don't know where the heck he is, but I'm sure before Lori and I head back to Northwest Ohio, he's gonna show up. Let's see if we get out of here. Let's roll, man. Hi folks, and welcome to Shake Happens. I thought I'd put this vlog up today just to let everyone know that Lori and I made it back from Southern Illinois from our visit to Capper Outdoors to see Joe and Sharon. And let me tell you, we had a blast down there. We always do. Uh, the, the wildlife out there, windows is spectacular. We have fun filming. Just everything about the trip is enjoyable. Now I know Joe on his channel, 99% of it is serious business on the excavator, or skid steer, food plots, wildlife management, everything. But when I get down there, he does cut loose and we just enjoy filming whatever and having fun doing it and showing the lighter side of things. Can I crush it? Well, you know, it's going to get recycled anyways. He really does have a good sense of humor. And when I get down there, that's his opportunity to vent and film things that he normally wouldn't do. And we just have a blast. It was a chore, all right. Uh, I mean, I'm going to put this thing at about 85 tons. 85 tons. 85 tons. Now, when I went down there, I took, I think, a dozen SD cards. 32 gigabytes, something like that. And I have footage on all of them. And it's gonna take a long time to sift through those, but that's okay. I got enough there to probably make a dozen videos. Um, so look for those sprinkled in here down the road. And let's face it, I'm sure you'd rather see a cap or parody video than these soothing videos I post. Another thing I'd like to mention is the sunsets. Uh, absolutely gorgeous down there. It rained or snowed the whole trip down, but we were fortunate during our stay to have it sunny. Although it was on the cool side, it was still some great weather. I did manage to get some fishing in while I was down there. Of course, the fish didn't cooperate, but I always take a couple ultralights with me in a little tackle box and see if I can catch a few bass. It just didn't happen this time. Even though in a previous update vlog that Joe put together. He showed some steaks burning on the grill or appear to be flame torch. And let me tell you, the steaks come out great. I know they did because I cooked them. Man, those are looking pretty good. And this is kind of the trade-off is Joe puts us up for the weekend and I do all the cooking. He's never disappointed. Also, while I was down there, uh, Joe's wife, Sharon, allowed me to get a little bit of footage uh, of her participating in these Capper Outdoor parodies. She's got a super sense of humor and was all for getting in on these. So, uh, Sharon, thanks. And believe it or not, Joe did allow me to get in some of his heavy equipment, the excavator and the skid steer. And I got a little experience with the skid steer, but that excavator, that's a whole different ball of wax to get used to that, I can tell you. And somehow, the Schickster snuck down. He must have crawled in the back hatch of the Equinox right before Lori and I left. So he was down there on location as well. And I think him and the Clapster were getting into a few things. Come to think of it, I don't even know if he made it back with us. He still might be down there at Joe's. Hey. CJ and Joe just left the eight acre property and I didn't get in the truck in time. So anyway, there you have it. Again, just letting everybody know that Lori and I returned to Northwest Ohio safely. We're getting back into the groove of things. I'm getting ready to go out and check the cards and the trail cams to see if that big buck is still around. I know they just wrapped up our muzzleloader season, but I'm hoping he made it through that and maybe will give me a crack. They're getting a shot at him. We'll see. And thanks for joining me here today on Schick Happens with some of these updates and sneak peeks. And until next time, cheers.